What is going on everyone? It is Mark here with another video. So in 2017, there has been a huge immersion in the whole AR VR world, correct? Is that true? And that technology has not yet really made its way to the mainstream kind of consumers, the us of the world. But walking around Best Buy, I saw this camera that actually allows you to shoot 360 photos and videos on the go, straight onto your smartphone, where eventually this technology will live. So today in front of me, I have the Insta360 Nano. What this is, is an attachment for your iPhone that allows you to take 360 photos and videos on the, on the go. What I'll do for the purpose of this video is kind of concentrate on the smartphone aspect of it. You are able to take what you shoot here and put on the computer and edit it a little bit more in depth, but for this, for this purpose, let's just live on our smartphone. So quickly, taking a look at the box. So here's the actual image of the Insta360 Nano. As you can tell, you plug it in simply with the lightning ports. It's won 2017's Innovation Award at CES, which is really cool. And, and there's a little sentence here that, that tells you exactly what this thing will do. Turn your iPhone into a 360 VR camera. Taken out of the box, no. It comes with its own VR headset. That's smart. Okay. All right, how do I, oh no. For someone who does a lot of unboxings, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I don't have a knife in the studio right now. He shoots. I didn't get it in. And there it is. It's right there in the center. It's much smaller than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest with you guys. This is it. It's not that big, nor is it that heavy. Okay, perfect. Before we get into detail with this thing, let's take a look at the rest of the box. In the, in the case where you would put your smartphone, you have a microfiber kind of bag, some literature, more literature, and more literature. And in the bottom here, we do have a little box for your micro USB. We pretty much have everything you need to get started. Okay, so quickly, let's actually take a look at the camera itself before we put it onto the smartphone. So at the bottom here, you do have a lightning connector, which is fairly obvious. That's how it's gonna be connecting to your phone. You'll have two kind of very wide lenses on both sides. And what happens is from both of these cameras, they stitch it together and there goes your 360. And one thing that's really important about this camera over its said competitors, it has expandable storage. So at the bottom here, you have room for micro SD card. And right beside that, you you have your micro USB to plug it in and get this thing charged up. I'm gonna be trying this out with my iPhone 10 here. Oh, I got too many notifications for you guys to see. And now the moment of truth, I guess, is, is turning this thing on. So to install the camera onto your smartphone, it's as simple as simply lining this up, sliding it in, and letting it click. You're, you're done, it's on your phone now. However, I don't know if this thing has juice. I believe this thing might be dead. I will be right back. I'm gonna charge this up really quick and, and uh, let me, I'll be right back. All right, we are back on the line. I'm excited to try this out to be completely honest with you. And we have a blue light. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Oh yeah, look at that blue light. We got the blue light, so here we go. And again, plugging it in. Side note, real quick. I honestly thought the iPhone 10 was gonna give me a hard time with my mustache, but it works fine. All right, so the app is up and running. Whoa. I'm in the camera mode right now. Wow, that is cool. This mustache in 360 is wow. What you do now simply is you press the button to take a photo, smile. Now that saves in the app. And, and, and here it is, this, this is what I just took. This is the studio, that's the couch I sit on. That's our carpet, that's the table. Here are your three lights, there's the camera. And, and, and there's a microphone and there's my forehead. Yeah, so that's this is what it looks like. There's a bunch of modes you can play around with here. So similarly like taking a photo, you can take videos as well. You just gotta switch the mode and, and you're now taking a video. I'm, I'm taking a video right now as we speak in 360. <laughs> What's going on everyone? It's Mark here with another video in full. 360 and from from within the app you can also share these okay so so that's really simple to use wow so once you have that photo video whatever it is you did capture with your 360 camera 
you can you can do a lot of things with it. You can share it, but you can also save it to your camera roll as as a panoramic photo and then transfer to your computer, which is awesome. You can edit even further from there. What's really exciting about this is how kind of easy it was for me to attach it to my phone and actually start using. Within minutes, I was able to take a full 360 photo. How crazy is that? Like that, that to me is insane. We were kind of starting to transition into that AR and VR world more and more. Now with iPhone 10, with the Samsung, where you can actually have that artificial reality. This isn't a brand new product, this camera. However, now people are going to start using it and using it. I mean, at $300 is a little bit pricey for, for everyone to kind of get their hands on. But as this becomes more and more popular, it's going to be more and more accessible. And, and soon we're just going to have these kind of cameras built right into their smartphones. I, I, at least that's my prediction because a 360 photo really does cover more and give you more insight of what's actually happening in the situation. I think this is great. But yeah, this, this camera is awesome. All right, guys, so that was the Insta360 Nano. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. And for additional brownie points, please follow me on all of my social media. Links can, of course, be found down in my description. But for now, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.